Alright guys, here's the fresh bike. 2024 YZ 450FX. Doing the very first heat cycle real quick. And mostly I just wanted to hear what it sounds like. Bike's pretty sweet. Comes with that 18 rear wheel, the skid plate, kickstand. These are coming off immediately. I think I'm one of the first few people to grab one. I ordered it like six months ago before they were even announced. I told the guy I wanted one, so I'll go through it. I figured since I just barely got this, I might as well do some videos on everything I'm going to do to it right away. I haven't even really ridden it at all. <laughs> got it today. But uh, I ordered this a while ago, so I'm going to put that seat cover on. I like a grippier seat cover personally, so I'm going to swap that out. And uh, to do that, all you got to do is take out that bolt, that bolt, and that bolt. Same on the other side. Pop the seat off, and then I'll show you what to do after that. I got those bolts removed, so now you just pull this out, and there's a tab in the front, so you'll pull it out and then back, like that. And that is where your power tuner controller is and your battery and all of that stuff. So when you first connect to it, that's where you're going to get access to it, to connect to it on your phone and do all of the uh, on-the-fly tuning. And since this is the FX, it has this extra little bit right here of a fuel tank, so it's just a tiny bit more capacity. I think it's only a difference of like 0.2 or 0.3 gallons or something like that, but uh, it is more, so that is nice. And this also does have a uh, low fuel light somewhere, or maybe it doesn't, I guess. The last generation did. Maybe it flashes on the bars or something, but I do know that it does have a larger gas tank, so anyway, that's easy enough. Okay, this seat is exactly like the last model, with the exception of the front piece of the seat is now held on by this instead of the airbox being held on by one of these. So put, flip that up, twist it out, and pull back on it. That's how you get access to your tank, and you can take this off, the seat comes out, pull up, pull back, and that is it for the seat. There's your battery right there, and this is what I'm looking to get changed out. So I'm going to just take out all those stables, staples and put on this new seat cover. Okay, I just took a small flathead screwdriver, popped all those up halfway, then I will pull them out with pliers get that new seat cover trimmed up to fit this perfectly, or as close to, and get out my staple gun and start stapling it on. All right, got all the staples out. Comes out pretty easily. Obviously with two hands, it's a little easier, but you just grab that guy, pull that down, and then it'll peel right off. And then I will put on the new seat cover over it, center it up, trim it a little bit and staple it on. These little flaps here are built to be flipped the other way and folded around the front corners of the seat to help this stay on. So that's how that's gonna work. I'm just gonna try and center it up as best as I can, fold it around, but that's how those work. Something that I forgot to mention, in order to get this tight without wrinkles, the easiest way to do it is to staple in the front first and then pull the tight too tight and stretch this a little bit. And then when you're starting to tighten things up, it will be nice and flush to the seat. So I just did a few staples up front, a few staples out back, and then I worked it around. So it's the easiest way I've found to do it. It's all stapled up. I'm just gonna cut this off any little bit of excess. So I don't have that flopping around, especially around these like hooks and stuff and the mounts. But uh looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but I did it myself. Didn't cost me anything to uh put it on, so that's what I like to do. There you go. This is a very slightly different blue from 
the stock one. I do have this piece from Decor Visuals to put on here, but it looks like they smashed the old one in between this here fastener, and I just don't really want to mess with that right now. So for now, it's good enough. It's pretty dang close, but uh, that's the seat cover there, so it is on. And I really like how they redesigned this because before this was impossible to get off. It was such a nightmare. But now you just slip it off on the one side, slip it off on the other, and that baby comes right out. So you can get your uh, Wi-Fi code and everything off of there. So pretty sweet.